Children's Crossings and Pedestrian Crossings In New South Wales, children's crossings are in place on some roads around schools. You can tell if it's a children's crossing by the orange children crossing flags. Children's crossings also have stop lines on the road instead of crossing stripes. Children's crossings generally operate before and after school hours. When the flags are taken away, it is no longer a children's crossing. It then reverts to being a normal road. However, drivers should be extra careful as children may not know it is not a crossing at that time. The rules for children's crossings differ from other pedestrian crossings. At a children's crossing, drivers must stop before the stop line if someone is crossing the road or about to cross and they cannot proceed until the pedestrian is off the road. At a pedestrian crossing, also called a zebra crossing, motorists must give way to any pedestrian on the crossing. This means slowing down and coming to a stop if necessary. Sometimes pedestrian crossings can operate as a children's crossing. When the orange flags are shown at a pedestrian crossing, it becomes a children's crossing. When the flags are taken away, it goes back to being a pedestrian crossing. Road safety is a shared responsibility. Motorists should always be prepared to stop for people on foot and pedestrians should always stop, look, listen, think before crossing the road and keep on looking as they cross. And if you're an adult, remember that children, especially those in your care, will follow your lead when it comes to crossing the road safely.